in now. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we glorify you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We adore your name, God. Hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. There is no one like you. Wonderful Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Every high place, bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. In every high place, bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name, O oh Lord. We honor you. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come in with the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Come in with you. hallelujah. Come in with a thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come in with the praise on your lips as you come in. Would you please begin to share? Hallelujah. Um, Bless you. In, would you please begin to share the broadcast as you come in? Come in with a with a praise on your lips. Um, if you can type in Thank the you. comments, if you can type in the comments, Hallelujah. If you can type in the comments, Thank you, Jesus. Come in. Come in, worshiping the Lord. Come in, honor Hallelujah. His holy name, for the Lord is worthy Hallelujah. to be praised. He's worthy to be honored. He's worthy Hallelujah. to be adored. He's worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless his Hallelujah. name. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Come on in. We have a guest with us on today. We have special guests coming in uh, with us on tonight. Elders Justin and Lady Candace Thomas. Please come in and share. Thank you, Sister Hello. Leticia in uh, Arkansas, Little Rock, sharing, 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 sharing um, the, the broadcast. So thank you so very much. Um, I am taking a moment myself, and I am sharing likewise. So, um, Amen. Thank you, thank, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am sharing, 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 sharing as well. So, as you come in, thank you so much for um, for sharing. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise thank the Lord. you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. We just are giving those who we're sharing with um, just a moment to come in. Glory to the name of the Lord God. Thank you, God. For he is indeed worthy of praise. Come on in, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Everyone, we honor God today. Thank you. And we bless him. He's good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come in, y'all, with the praise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Greet us as you come in, y'all. Greet us as you come in. Thank you, Lord. As you come in, as you come in. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. Yes, Lord. Yes, oh God, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, everybody, thank yes. you so very much for coming in, and thank you for sharing the broadcast. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you for joining us um, with us on tonight. We will take a time in this moment um, right now just to pray and set uh, our minds in alignment. 
uh, with what is a, what we are about to experience. And as we are praying, go ahead and get your journals. Go ahead and get your papers. Gather your uh, your pens. Gather your families. Uh, steal the house because this is a blessing for your household. Um, this is a night of worship. We will be receiving what God has given to um, the Thomases on tonight. So get ready. Hallelujah. Get ready. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm excited. My bucket is out. Uh, I'm ready yeah. to receive from God. And I'm ready to receive from God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm Amen. ready to receive from the heart of God. What do I teach you? I teach you that when people of God, consecrated vessels of God, come before you, I teach you not to allow these consecrated men and women of God to come before you and you do not pull to receive from God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I'm greeting all of you as you come in, Sister Daniels. Sister Reed, God bless you. Thank you for coming in. Father, in Jesus' name, we want to say thank you, Lord Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Tonight, thank you, Lord. For your throne, share this special time in your word. And so, Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, for uh, anointing that makes teaching easy. We thank you for listening ears, Lord God, receiving your glory, receiving revelation, receiving power, receiving, Lord God, the victory that you have in store for us. Father, we thank you that we wait, we sit around your throne with bated breath today to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has for the church on today. Father, we thank you right now that you are praying in every vehicle, in every kitchen, every living room, every bedroom, every hospital room, Lord God, where this video will be broadcast. We thank you that we'll be forever changed. Thank you, Lord God, that from this time of worship, Lord God, we will have an understanding. Our posture with you, Lord God, will, will be erect. And we thank you right now, Lord God, for the fruit that will impact and change and transform our lives in the name of Jesus. We thank you that our children will be impacted. Our ministries will be impacted. Our marriages will be impacted. We thank you thank that every area of our lives, oh God, hallelujah, is ripe and ready to receive this word that you have for us on tonight. And it is so in Jesus' yes. holy name. I want you to type an amen on the screen. I want you to type an amen on the screen. Amen. For those of you that amen. are watching the broadcast for the very first time, I'm Natasha Davis, and I'm here with you each and every Thursday night. I'm here with you each and every Thursday night. Every Thursday night, um, I am here with you to pray, to impart, uh, uh, um, and to do the will of the Lord, to equip the saints. So you're welcome to join us each and every Thursday, each and every Thursday right here at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, you can join me here at 6.30 p.m. on Sundays. So drop by and see us, have fellowship with us each and every Thursday and Sunday. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we do have some other announcements uh, that uh, I do want to share with you. Um, it's already 10 minutes after the hour. And so we want to give as much time and we want to give as much uh, uh, of the floor uh, to um, Elder and Lady Thomas so that they can um, minister effectively and not feel rushed. So stay tuned. And hang out with me to the end of the broadcast so that you can receive uh, some updates of what will be going on in the near future. I want to introduce to you uh, longtime friends of mine. And I'm not, I don't say the word friend uh, um, um, as, as something that you, you, uh, you know, as something that's lighthearted. These are friends to me more like family. And so Amen. we have, we have mm. chosen each other. And so by birth, you get who you get. You get, you get a sister and they are who you are. But I've been able to choose 
uh, these friends of mine and they have uh, adopted me and I have adopted them. Uh, I'm talking about tried relationships. I'm not talking about yeah. I met somebody and they do you one moment and then the next moment you don't. I'm talking about, no, there's some tried, there's some tried relationship right here. And yeah. so for that our yes. line up with the will of God. And I want to introduce to you Elder Justin, who has been appointed in the Lord's church as an elder. We celebrate the Lord's advancement on his life and on his ministry, a man of God. Some of you know him as a musician. He is an anointed engineer, a musician in, in the house of God. He's an entrepreneur. He worked with people like his wife, who is a recording artist as well, Lady Candace Thompson. Right. You know him right. from Papa Do. He is uh, a owner <laughs> in the business. You also know them as um, the um, Galore, the Everything Eatery. Um, they're a part of the reason why I still have to run a few times a week because I show sure like to eat. <laughs> and um, every time I stop in Gainesville, they feed me real, real good. So these are people who are, 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 are business owners. They, 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 they love God. He's an anointed musician. And his wife, Candace, is, is yeah, some of y'all might know her from the managerial world when she was with Wells Fargo as a branch manager. Now she's endeavored into a full-time entrepreneurship with her husband and the paparazzi business. Um, and if she chooses to talk to you and tell you about that, she will. But the woman of God is here not to talk to you as a national recording artist, not as a uh, 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 a partner in the everything uh, galore eatery, not as that, but they, they are here as anointed vessels to minister the word of God. They could have come on and they could have sung us into glory on tonight, but the Lord has touched them and anointed them uh, to speak a word in season to us. So I uh, introduced to some and present to others, um, our close and dear friends at Natasha Davis Ministries, Elder Justin and Lady Candace Thomas, receive ye them. Amen. 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 God bless Amen. you, uh, Amen. Prophetess Natasha Amen. Davis. Amen. We thank you uh, wholeheartedly for this opportunity that we have to be here on tonight. Good evening to everyone. It is a blessing to be seen uh, and in the words of my grandmother, not to be viewed. Uh, it's a blessing to be able to speak on the goodness of God and mm -hmm. to speak with those that are like-minded to encourage everyone, even as we encourage ourselves on the concept of worship. God is great and he is greatly to be praised and we are honored. We are honored to be used as vessels by God to have this opportunity to give God thanks and to give him glory. As Elder David stated that I am Lady Can, uh, Lady Candace, uh, I almost thought I was doing the paparazzi part, Lady Campling, but I am Lady <laughs> Candace Thomas. Um, I am the wife of the Elder John Thomas. And I am thankful for this man of God, my husband, uh, whom God has ordained and called for such a time as this. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. That was all right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Uh, so glad. Thank you for all you all who have joined on tonight. Yes. Amen. We see those uh, that have uh, joined in. And, and again, we are so this opportunity. Thank you, Prophetess yes. Natasha, for this opportunity. So we're going to get in the word of God on tonight. Praise and uh, we're talking about the subject of worship, what it is to worship, yes. uh, how can we worship. Um, and the most important thing that we want to stress tonight is that God is looking for worshipers. Jesus, yes, he, he seeks those. He seeks those who would worship him. So if you could just type it in the comment, just right quick, if you would, Jesus is looking for me. Come on, right. just put it in the comment. Put it in the comments. Jesus, Jesus looking is looking for, for me. me. It doesn't matter yes. uh, your circumstance. It doesn't matter your current situation. Uh, it doesn't matter what you are lacking or what you feel like you don't have. It doesn't matter who's you. Um, that you can't do or that uh, who's told you that you won't make it or, or, or not good enough. Yes. 
we're going to show you in the scripture tonight that Jesus is looking for you. He's yes, looking yes. for us. He's seeking us out. Yes. He is seeking those uh, that are worshipers, those yes. that will worship him. And so John chapter four, uh, John chapter four, uh, our, our main verses are, are going to be John chapter four, uh, verses 23 and 24. But we're going to look at some interesting things earlier in this text um, that lets us know that we are qualified for worship. All right. We are qualified for worship because Jesus is looking for us, looking for me. Amen. 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 I thank God for that. Amen. amen. John chapter four of uh, verse 23 in the King James Version. And my wife and I, we're going to tag team this tonight. All right. Uh, we're going to yes. tag team this tonight. Amen. And we're going to um, uh, um, uh, share what the Lord has given to us. Is that all right? Uh, John chapter four, verse 23 says, but the hour cometh and now is. Somebody type in the comment right now. Now is, this now. is the time, amen. When the true worshipers shall worship the father. I'm reading from James version if I haven't said that already. All right, worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth. For the father seeketh such to worship him. Y'all hear that? The Father seeketh such to worship him. Jesus is looking for me. And verse four, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah. Amen. So we're, before we go uh, in the text, before we go back in the text uh, a little bit, we're going to uh, talk about uh, Jesus's uh, encounter with the Samaritan woman at Jacob's well. And, and, and how um, how even when the world says uh, those have you off, we're gonna we're gonna show through the text tonight that we are qualified for All worship. Right. Glory to the name of Jesus. Right. We are qualified. Uh, but let's talk about what worship is. Let's just talk about what, what worship is. Um, All right. Um, what what is worship? So worship is the feeling or expression of risk and adoration for God. Yes. Um, most, if asked what is worship, they would say, oh, that's the slow part of the service where the music drop, your lights might dim, it might get spooky even a little bit, but where you lift up your hands and you begin to talk to the Father and they begin to sing songs that evoke emotion from the heart in talking about God, the Father. But what we want to discuss tonight, that worship is the feeling of our expression of reverence and adoration for God. And we feel with our heart, we feel from our mind, the heart of our brain, we feel from there mm -hmm. because um, Saints of old say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, that evokes emotion, that evokes a praise, that evokes a moment where you can relate and start thinking about your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. So, so there's something mental. There's something mental. There's something. There's something mental about worship. Yes. All right. Because yes. we want to take it. We want to take it a little deeper. You know, the expression, the lifting of our hands, yes. the lifting of our voice, the song, as you mentioned, right. um, the preaching, the teaching. These are all ways that we can express worship. Right. But there's, but but what Lady Cat, I love what she say. There's something mental about worship. Right. Uh, there's something that happens. There's a thought process uh, in the person that worships God. Yes. There's a certain there's a certain thinking that 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 happens in the person that worships God. Right. Right. And the other aspect of it for me is worship is relationship. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I've I've put the word of worship the two syllables, W-O-R-S-H-I-P, mm -hmm. as meaning the word in fellowship with me. Mm -hmm. The 
fellowship, mm -hmm. worship. God is the word. He is the word. He is the living word. He, he is Emmanuel. He is God with us. So he being in me, I in him, we are joint together in that relationship and that kinship. The word and fellowship with man, communing with the father as one. And when you commune with the father as one, that's where you receive the breath of the Lord, breathing through you and on you to be mm -hmm. able to give back to him, mm -hmm. to give back to him. That's receiving the breath of the Lord. Yes. The breath of the Lord. The the origin of the beginning breath of the Lord was in the beginning, Genesis 2 and 7, where God made man and he breathed breath through the nostril of man. Mm -hmm. But he also breathes on us with his Holy Spirit, which he is the Holy Spirit. He breathes the Holy Spirit on us, the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And that's where we commune with the Father. Mm -hmm. We commune with him. We have that fellowship with him. Mm -hmm. So for me, that is that relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And to know him is to serve him and is also to love him. And that's how that relationship gets developed day by day, moment by moment, minute by minute, through worshiping God and coming with him and fellowshipping with him. It's more than a song. It's more than a move. It's more than a liturgical dance. Come on. It's Come on. a relationship. Yes, it's, it's more than that. Mm -hmm. um, it mm -hmm. is time developed. It's relationship. It is built upon that. And, and that's how I see it. Uh, that we, as his children created for his glory, gives us the opportunity to worship him as we commune and fellowship with him. Yes. And so worship is fellowship. If, if As we're expanding on the definition of worship tonight and you're taking notes, you can add this to your notes that worship fellowship. The word fellowship comes from a Greek word, which means koinonia. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's a special that is a special kind a very unique kind of fellowship mm -hmm. that you have mm -hmm. with uh, a believer or with God. And so worship uh, Konania fellowship, it, it is a special kind of relate uh, relationship with God. Uh, worship uh, uh, to worship God is to relate to God. All right. And watch and his people. All right. Yes. Worship is uh, God. It, it is a relation to God uh -huh. and His people, uh -huh. and we're gonna find we're gonna see that in the in the text um, 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 as we look at. So let's look at some of the some of some of the scriptures. So we're still in John chapter four. John chapter four verse five says, "Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar." near near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to to his son Joseph verse 6 now Jacob's well was there Jacob's well was there Jesus therefore being wearied with his journey sat thus on the well and it was about the sixth hour which is midday which is midday verse 7 there cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water Jesus said unto her, give me to drink. Mm -hmm. Verse eight says, for his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Mm -hmm. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, how is it that thou being a Jew asketh drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealing with the samaritans mm -hmm. and so i want to stop uh right there as we talk about fellowship okay. as we talk about uh, worship and fellowship kononia all right uh it's a very unique fellowship uh the this is how the lord gave it to me um it was first of all it was customary for the submit for the samaritan women 
to come and draw from the uh, well together. Mm -hmm. All right. But this particular woman um, came to the alone right. because she was outcast. All mm -hmm. right. And you and re remember that Jesus is looking. Jesus is looking for me. He's looking for worshipers. Mm -hmm. The Father seeketh such that would worship Him. So my our first point is that uh, our outcast status of those that have outcast us, those that have left us alone, mm -hmm. those that don't want to have anything to do with us, Jesus Himself uh, did not. Uh, did not feel that uh, the the Samaritan woman was disqualified for worship cool. because of her outcast status. Right. And I want to encourage somebody. We need to encourage somebody uh, with that point um, tonight because a lot of us don't feel like uh, we can worship God or that we're at a place to worship God. Right. But the Father seeketh such worship Him. And so Jesus finds Himself going to Jacob's well as he is uh, weary from his journey, as he is tired from his journey, he goes to Jacob's well because he's looking for someone new that would worship him. Uh -huh. The father seeketh such that would worship him. You have something? I can see her. I, I can see her, 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 her mind turning. So go ahead, Lady Candace. <laughs> I'm just sitting here rubbing my leg saying Jacob's well. Mm -hmm. Jacob's well. No matter what the status of a person is or your past or your certain, your condition, your history mm -hmm. is or was, mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. the place where Jesus met this woman at, mm -hmm. the well that belong to Jacob, mm -hmm. the trickster, Jacob, the one that wrestled mm -hmm. that he was determined past all the things that he had done from holding on to Esau's leg in the womb to fight for him to get out first before Esau got out and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Then the other things that happened with him from being married to Rachel cockeyed Leah, as we call her. <laughs> um, then even with him tricking his father mm -hmm. to get the birthright. Beyond all that, before Jacob got to the point that he was wrestling, he went to a place of prayer and this is where worship will will kick in because worship will cause you to get to a place of prayer jacob went to a place of prayer where he started making intercession to the father worship brings out an integrity in a person and it pulled it out of him that as he was seeking god that's when god came and started wrestling with him so that's where I just started thinking about it. The more you kept saying it, and I kept looking at the scripture, and I was like, this is Jacob. Mm -hmm. like the well, well, the, named after the trickster. And, <laughs> and so the well is a place to draw from. Right. The well is a place to, to draw from. And, 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 and as we're worshiping God, and as we understand worship more and more, the, the, the beautiful thing about it is that we can draw from the well of yes. God. Yes. We can draw from the 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 uh, the power of God. Yes. We can draw from the love of God. And, and as we look at this text closer, we're going to see that Jesus was showing love, love of God. Yes. You can't ex you we cannot really worship without expressing the love of God. Right. And so Jesus was showing the love of his father, the love of God to this Samaritan and, and who, who, who he would normally have, who, who the Jews had no dealings no with. No dealings. And so, and, and so the, the point that we have to see uh, with worship as it concerns, remember we said to worship God is to relate to God and his people. 
the point that we to glean from this from from the interaction of Jesus with the Samaritan woman is that we we can't worship God without um without dealing with his people. Right. We can't worship God with dealing with those uh that are, that are outcasts right or we can't deal we can't worship god without dealing with those that are unloved right or un, or or uh, unattended but but real re, real love real worship in our hearts towards god will cause us to love his people and love people yeah that's what real worship is yes. and so beyond lifting our hands and saying hallelujah and and and, and like you say the slow song you know yes. how, how most people define worship worship is an expression yes. of god's love right. worship is, um worship will cause you um to go out and seek others for him right that's what true worship will do you said that jesus is looking for and Jesus going to the well was a form of worship as he was showing an expression of love from the Father. Yes, absolutely. And adoration absolutely. for the Samaritan woman. Yes. Because there are religious or people that worship gods or worship their figurines or their structures, they spend time at those places or looking at those objects by showing their adoration or their admiration for it. Um, worship can be an extreme form of love and it can be a place of unquestioning devotion. And that's what Jesus did with the woman at the well, mm -hmm. that he was committed and devoted to the point of being there with her regardless of traditions, regardless of who she was, regardless mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. her label mm -hmm. as being a ex this and an ex, ex that. that. Right. We all have those type of labels yes. that have been removed Talk about off it. of our life. Talk and about it, yes. We shouldn't allow anybody or any to place us back on those shelves of where we once were. Mm -hmm. we, we shouldn't. However, the love of God constrains us so that we can understand through worship that we are changed, we are experiencing worship from the Father as He is seeking such, mm -hmm. as He's looking for me. Mm -hmm. He's in His pursuit of me. Mm -hmm. He's searching for me. Yes, yes. He's so looking for me. I want to yes. make myself available <laughs> yes, 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 so yes. that when He's on that hunt, Mm -hmm. He will find me mm -hmm. in my posture of worship with my hands up, a place of surrender that says, Father, I receive everything that for me. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to receive from you. Mm -hmm. So that true worship allows God's love to be communicated mm -hmm. where it does, we don't let anything, nothing, or nobody, or no one come between connection. Our connection. Mm -hmm. Don't let nothing, nobody, no one, no nothing, nobody, or nothing come between our connection with the Father so that we can truly worship him. Another interesting thing about John, this, this text, John chapter 4, is that is that God, uh, Jesus was getting this woman in a place to worship God, yes. to be able to worship him. Because listen, the status is real. Okay. Whatever it is yeah. that, whatever it is that's on your life or whatever Hello. I've done or you've done or we've done, <laughs> those things have to be dealt with right. in order for us to be able to worship him. Right. But those the status alone does not disqualify God from seeking me out to be a worshiper. Right. And that's the point that we that we want to make here with the woman with this woman, this Samaritan woman. And and, I, and I'm and we'll, we'll show you we'll show you in scripture right here. All right. Uh, move, moving move, moving down a little further in the text, Jesus deals with he asked he asked her a question. Come on. 
uh, she, well, she asked him a question, you know, about drink. Can uh -huh. you bring, can you bring, can you get, can you get me a drink? Uh -huh. His response was, <laughs> bring, where's your husband? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now the Samaritan woman, she had, she, she had five husbands, right. <laughs> you know, and, but, uh, but the man, but the man, but the man that, uh, that she was currently living with, my, my. you know, said so wasn't not her husband. No, well, well, so well, well, Jesus said, in, in order for me to get you to a place that uh, you can worship, God. we're gonna have to deal with some things, right? Let's call it space, space, and, space, and, space. and you know, let's call, let, so so uh, it, on our journey. The point is, on our journey to worship, God will deal with some things yes. in our life. Uh, you know, some some some, some some hidden things. Mm. You know, she 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 came in contact with the prophet mm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, the man that can see all. You understand? And um, uh, so uh, <laughs> um, the the drink from the well was a distraction in that moment. Uh. So Jesus, so Jesus decided in, instead of responding to the drink. Let me respond to what's going on in your household. Right. Because I'm looking for a worshiper. Because I'm seeking for a worshiper. But I got to help you get your heart right mm -hmm. so that you can worship me. Yeah. I got to deal with those yeah. inner things, those secret things, yeah. those things that no one knows about, those that you haven't told anybody about, the, the anger oh. or the guilt. Oh or, or from your past you know those those secret things those deep mm. things god say i want to i want to help you deal ah. with those things because i want you to worship me mm -hmm. and true enough we can't worship god with just anything right and so and so jesus said let me help get your heart right mm -hmm. so that you can I, i'm seeking you know to worship for you to worship me right i i, I seek as such i want you to worship me but I want to deal with some things on our way to worship. Come and on. so we have to deal with some things on our way to worship. We have to deal with some uh, of our, 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 the things that are inadequate on our way to worship. But the things that are inadequate, I think you have to put it back this way. Okay. Okay. I, I think that, that <laughs> my, my wife working this camera, yeah. <laughs> the things that are inadequate, our, our situations in our life that are inadequate, don't disqualify us from worship but if we're willing to deal with these things right these things that are in our flesh these things that are in our in our in our being if we're willing to deal with those things so for the samaritan woman it was it was these men right it was these hu the husbands that did not these men that did not belong, belong to her, to her. Right. That's what it was. I don't know what it is for you. It may be. It may be drinking. It may be smoking. Uh, it may. <laughs> we don't know what, what. Whatever it is, well, God wants to right. deal with those things yes. so that we can worship Him yes. in spirit. Watch this. We're getting to the end of the text. In spirit. That's what He means by in spirit and in truth. Right, in truth. That truth is a true revelation of who God is. It is a true. So God, now I know God as a deliverer. Oh, yeah. my, my. Now I know God as a way maker. Yes. Now I know that God can bring out of the things that I never have spoken out loud. My God. That God can deliver me and bring me out of those things because he wants, he desires for me to worship him. Oh, and so I, now when I lift my hands, I lift my hands because I know that God is a deliverer. That mm -hmm. thing that I never thought that I could come out of. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I open my mouth and, and I express to God mm -hmm. his goodness yes. and his healing power yes. because I, I know that, that the sickness and these that was in my body, mm -hmm. that no one could deliver me out of that but God Nobody but and his power. Uh -huh. And when he delivers those things, out of our life, he gets us ready for worship. Yes, he yes. does. He gets yes, us he ready. He frees our heart and he frees our mind and, and gets us, you know, ready, ready to worship him. Yes, yes, yes. Um, one of the things that I wanted to add on was from verse 10. Yes. Where Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, mm -hmm. and who it is that said to thee, give me to drink mm -hmm. thou wouldest have of him and he would have given thee living water my god in that aspect 
here Jesus talking to the Samaritan woman, someone who doesn't believe. He's he's touched her curiosity. Yes, come on. He, he touched Say her curiosity. Say that again. He touched saying, her curiosity. If you knew. Yes. If you knew, if you knew, then you would be able to understand and know the gift of God. Mm -hmm. So for us as worshipers or true worshipers, encouragement tonight is to make sure we are at a place that we can touch the curiosity of someone when we are engaging in conversation. Okay. What are we sharing with them through our life as, as we worship? You know, people say you can worship life through, through song or through scripture or through dance, but in your conversation through others, those that have come thirsty, mm -hmm. looking for something to quench their thirst and to fill their life, are we showing them who Jesus is? Mm -hmm. And that goes back to the mode of worship through love and adoration and communion. Amen, amen. Through communion mm -hmm. with one another, a form, of, true form of worship. Mm -hmm. True form of worship. The Lord just said it to me like this, that worship is a journey. Put that in the a comment. Right. If you don't mind, just type that in the comment. Worship is a journey. It's a journey. And I don't know what your journey is. Again, I don't know what you've been through. I don't know what you are facing. I don't know what it is that you are oh uh, experiencing in your life. But worship in itself is a journey. Um, uh, the Holy Spirit teaches us yes, it does. as we go along this journey how to worship Him, That's express good. our love to Him, how to express our need for Him. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Because when we come and we worship God, a, a part of our worship is to express to our God, God, I need my, I, I have a need for you. Right. I need you in my life. Right. Uh, so it's an intimate thing. You, you understand? It, it's, it's an intimate thing. Yes. You know, if I'm in a relationship with my, I'm in a relationship with my wife and my wife doesn't know that I need her. Whoop. You know, the, if my wife doesn't understand that I need her, be my there, there will be a, a question mark. And so as we worship God, God has to know need him. Oh, yes. And God has to know that we desire him. Yes. God has to know that we want him. But right. And then the, the Lord just uh, 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 gave me this Woo. about the whole well. You know, uh, the woman came to the well um, to draw from the well, to draw from the, the natural well. Yes. You, you know, uh, she came to draw from, from the natural well. And, and, and I was just thinking about, um, you know, when it comes to worship, that when we worship God and we, we we truly worship Him from our heart, He God has a way of of handling uh, the thirst that's in our life. Yes, He does. When yes, we Lord. worship Him, yes, we, we 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 no longer have to draw from old well. Ah, you, you know, we begin to draw from the yes. from God's well. Yes, yes, um, yes. And He even answered her. He answered her at one point in the text and said, if you drink of this water, yes. you'll, never you'll never thirst again. That's that's the result of worship. Yes. The results that come from true worship yes. is that those things that we used to thirst after, those habits and those those things that we used to, you know, those wells that we used yes. to draw from, uh -huh. we no longer have to turn to those wells anymore. We yes. no longer have to, uh, to draw from those wells of sadness. And we no longer have to draw from those wells of disappointment yes. we no longer have to draw from those wells of sickness and and those yes. wells of hate and yes. those those wells uh that, that that are distracting but we we now draw from the living well the living well and that's the position that jesus was trying to get the samaritan woman in yes. to understand that you've been coming to draw right. from this well but now I want you to draw from my well. Yes. And if you and if you and if and if you draw from this ah. well, you'll never thirst again. Oh my God, if you draw from the well of God, you'll never thirst again. And that's what worship is all about. Yes, yes. We when we truly worship God, ah. we'll find ourselves in a spiritual Hallelujah. place that we'll we won't have to draw from the old well. Right. Those that 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 used to uh, attach itself to us. Right. We'll when we when we truly worship God, we'll we, we won't find ourselves going that route anymore. Right. 
Right. When we truly yeah. worship God and we get to a place that, that we're experiencing the living water oh, yeah. of God, we won't have to, to go to the old tap anymore. All right. Uh, I don't know what the old tap is for you, but but, right. but God is breaking old you tap. tonight Hallelujah. from the old tap. Huh? I don't know, no, I don't know what your what your tap is, but God is pulling you out from that old tap yeah. oh okay. you, you'll never have to go there again you, you understand when the more that we seek god and we worship god and we draw from the well of god hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. glory to god hallelujah so jesus is looking for me hallelujah and he's looking for you hallelujah. he's looking for us hallelujah. he's seeking us hallelujah. the father the father the father hallelujah. seek it such that would worship him. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 the hour cometh and now is now. when the true worshipers yes. shall worship the Father in, in, uh, in spirit and in truth. And, yes. and then oh. verse 24, and I, I got to deal with this. There's it's so much in this text, but I, I got to deal with this before we stop. God is a spirit. This is verse 24. God is a spirit. That's number one. God, so, so the things of the natural, you have to put them down when you're talking about relating to God. Come on. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That word worship there is to relate to God. Mm. So the Father seeketh such that would worship him, that would relate to him. Mm. And they that relate to him yes. should relate to him in spirit and in truth. Yes. And so more that we seek the things of God, oh, yeah. the That's things true. of the spirit, the more that we attach ourselves to the spirit things of God, the more that we can relate to God and relating to God is what worship oh, is. Relating to God oh, is what worship yeah. is. That is what true worship is. And as we relate to God, yes, our hands will lift up. Yes. When we relate to God, yes, our mouth will open. Yes. yes, we will express ourselves to God with songs, hymns, yes. and spiritual songs, and, yes. and with in dance and yes. in the preaching of the word. Yes. When we really truly relate to God, worship will pour out of us. Yes. Glory yes. to the name of yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll say it again. When we really truly worship God and That's we really good. truly relate to God, glory to God, worship will pour out of us. Yes. And so the position. That, that Jesus wanted to get the uh, this Samaritan woman in was a position of worship. Yes. And her 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 current state did not disqualify ah. her getting to a place of worship. Yes. Because the hour is here. Yes. The hour yes. has come. Yes. The hour came for the for the Samaritan woman, and the hour has come for all of us even now. Yes. 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 He's here. He's look. He has. Jesus ha is looking for us and, looking and he has for, found us. Uh, yes, Somebody yes. just say, he's found me. He found, he found me. me. I'm ready to worship him. He he's me. found me. I'm ready yeah. to seek him. Yes. Uh, Isaiah 55 and 6 says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Mm -hmm. Call ye upon him while he is while near. He is near. The yes. spirit of the Lord is upon me yes. because he has anointed me on, preach to preach the gospel. Yes. <laughs> you understand? And so, so this is what worship is about. Huh? You understand? Yes. This is what worship is all about. Yes. Relating to God, seeking God. I'm sorry. Yes. Go, go ahead. Babe. Oh, no, you can. Because I, 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 you know, I'm, I come I, through. I'm an amen. <laughs> I'm an amen. Glory to God. But Glory it's a, to God. It's Glory a blessing God. that we can, Glory to God. we can conclude that worship mm -hmm. will allow us, true worship will allow us to worship him through our song. Yes. True worship will yes. allow us to worship him through our prayer. Yes. Just through prayer individually and corporately. Amen. True Absolutely. worship will allow us to worship him through the preached word. Mm -hmm. When the word is being declared mm -hmm. and being spoken and we receive it and mm -hmm. it's placed within our heart as mm -hmm. we say amen and we receive the word. That's true worship. We also worship the Lord through our giving. Yes. We worship the Lord through our giving. Yes, That's absolutely. through the giving, yes. the yes, giving Lord. of time, yes. through the giving of our services, yes. through the giving of our finances, absolutely, through the giving yes. of our love yes. to one another, yes. to those yes. that we know and we don't know. That yes. is true worship. Yes. We also worship the Lord through our fasting. 
Come on. We work with the Lord through fasting. When we set aside that dedicated time where we are communing with the Lord and we are turning down that plate or we turning off the TV or we're turning off social media, yes. turning off our phone, yes. not responding, not looking at certain things that are distracting us from the word of God that keeps us away from yes. being connected to him connected. even more. Yes. That is a form of worship. Absolutely. We worship the Lord through communion. Thank you, Jesus. We worship the Lord through communion. <laughs> and I talk about this a lot, about rightfully discerning the Lord's body. Uh, in 1 Corinthians, uh, it's 11 and 23, where it talks about when you come together to commune with one another, we rightfully discern the Lord's body when we discern one another oh, and when we love each other wow, wow. and when this this wow. is the lord's body yeah my sister is the lord's body my god the brother is the lord's body oh, so if i don't speak to my sister and my brother that i see every day Jesus. but when i get into my moment of worship i ate a both shy but I can't speak to them in Ooh. English. I am not rightfully discerning the Lord's body. That's not I, that's yeah. not worship. That's not true communion. Yes. So for us to be able to show God that we really mm -hmm. want to worship him, mm -hmm. again, we can worship him through song, sing unto the Lord a new song. Mm -hmm. We can sing unto the Lord and we can worship him through songs. We can worship him through our prayers. We can worship him through the preached word. We can worship him giving. We can worship him through fasting. Yes, and we Lord. can also worship him through communion. Yes, and that's communion with the Lord yes. and honoring him, but also rightfully discerning the Lord's body. Ah. Mm -hmm. When we rightfully discern the Lord's mm -hmm. body, ah. we are doing true worship. Jesus. And that and the journey. Mm -hmm. That's a journey. Mm -hmm. That that's a life journey. Uh, because you build on it as you are going, as you are growing. That's how we worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Worship with me to love him. Yes. And love you. Come yes. on. Amen. Amen. That's yes. what true worship is. So if you're seeking to know what worship is, uh, 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 go after God. Yes. Go after God. Go after his spirit. Yes. And, and, and go after who he is. Uh, because worship is also a revelation. This is the last point. Worship is a revelation Hallelujah. of who God is. Verse 25, the woman said unto him, I know that Messiah is coming, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. And then Jesus replied in verse 26 and said, Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. I am. And so wor true worship will reveal to you who he is <laughs> true worship Hallelujah. will reveal to you who he is mm. you may you may know god on a surface level but as you worship god Hallelujah. he will allow you to know him in the fullness of his love and in the fullness of his power that's what worship will do you know, we started at the beginning by saying he is looking for me yes. because he seeketh such to worship him. Yes. He's looking for true worshipers. Amen. And as we've had this conversation and discussed, we've concluded that if we are the true worshipers, we've been found. Thank you. Glory. We've been yes. found by him. Yes. For finding me. Him. Thank you, Lord. So we've even as found. those yes. with blinded eyes spiritually mm -hmm. god has opened up our eyes yes. and given us the revelation yes. to know that found by him mm -hmm. we have how did he find us he found us with his love mm -hmm. he found us with his love mm -hmm. in worship mm -hmm. he he brought me in yes. he pulled me in he he mm -hmm. took all of my curiosities mm -hmm. and gave me answers mm -hmm. to let me know that i i know who this there is. Mm -hmm. I know who he is you, and Jesus. I want to worship him. And if you want to worship him right now, begin to worship the Father. Yes, Lord. Begin, begin yes, to Lord. worship God. him. Hallelujah. Begin to give your words you, of exhortation and expression of yes, for Lord. who he is. Yes, Lord. For knowing him yes, Lord. right now. Yes, Lord. That you have been found. 
Hallelujah. You have been found at a place that yes, you can Lord. worship him yes, in Lord. spirit and in truth. Thank you, Jesus. That you can worship him with the fruit of your lips. Thank you, Jesus. That you can express your gratitude thank unto you, him. To tell him, Father, I thank you. Father, I love you. Father, I honor you. Mm. I thank you, Hallelujah, Father. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, I thank you, Jesus. Father, for who you are. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for thank all you, that you've done. Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Father, yes, we Lord. want to be found in a place that we are worshiping yes, you Lord. continually. Yes, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Prophetess uh, Natasha. Thank you, Lord. We're, we're done. We feel the release of the Lord at this Thank time. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We worship Thank you, Lord. him. We worship him. Thank you, Lord. We worship your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship I love name, the Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Go anywhere. Hallelujah. Uh uh Elder and uh and uh Lady Thomas, I don't want you to go anywhere. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For those of you who Hallelujah. we have been in a night of worship. We have been in a night of teaching. We have been in a night of mm -hmm. opening up our mouths. We have been in a night for some mm -hmm. of us. For Thank some you, of us, Jesus. we've been in a place of rekindling our worship. Here, listen, don't mm -hmm. go anywhere. As a matter of fact, you really want to turn the volume up on your device right here. Don't go anywhere, elders, because I want you to come back. And I want you to 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 pray, but this is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Listen, yes, um, yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. Talking, and I was praying, I was interceding, and I and when you said the exes, for those of us who are Christians, though those of us who we claim that we have a relationship with God, let me let me talk to the mm -hmm. exes for a moment. Come on, let me talk mm -hmm. to the exes for a moment. So, so, mm -hmm. so he dealt with me so that I could draw out of him and come into mm -hmm. fellowship. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why he yeah. drew me out. He drew me out. He didn't draw me in so that I could learn to blend some eyeshadow and some lipstick to come, come out on. of the world, to come out of the world as an outcast, to come into the church or into the kingdom of God and blend in. Yeah. And, and, yes. and make a difference. He called me as an ex. Yes. He called me so that somebody could uh, uh, experience and witness my worship and become curious enough to who I serve and the power that is within uh, God. Listen, listen, Jesus. listen, ex. Listen, Jesus. ex. It's time for you to check. They said they said that this was a journey. Come on, let's do a check in, ex. Come on, let's do yes. a check in. Yes. But some people, sometimes, some people, God will introduce a thing and say, this is who I am. But for those of mm. us already in Konania, in a unique uh, fellowship with him, and you really, yes. Yes. listen, 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 turn your devices up, share right here with your son, because, because, because now mm. that, now that you have got a little uh, further in your journey, I want to ask you, yeah. can they still hear you worship him from the shower? Can your daughter, right. your son, your husband, your next door yeah. neighbors in this apartment oh living society, do they still yeah. do they still hear you? X. Um, do they re they remember you when he talked about the package? When he talked about that old tap, they remember you. They remember you mm. with your blue moon beer. Yes. They remember you with your lager, your black and tan. They remember yes. you star with you. Your house. Come on, I just want to mm. talk to the exes for just a moment. The yes. ones, the ones who are on this special journey. Uh, um, I've been in a relationship study, and one of the things that mm. Elder uh. Thomas said that bless my soul. He said, uh, he said, he said, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit, which means you got to be in a place to relate to God. He said yeah. that yeah. attachment that has to happen. I want you to hear me. I want you to hear the power of God coming through this revelation. Um, um, there mm. is no fellowship. There is no relationship without attachment. I've been studying relationships oh, yeah. and the thing that blows a relationship out of the water. You want to know why you and your spouse fall out? You want to know why y'all get
get into divorce? You want to know why you and your daughter can't get along? You want to know why you and your cousins don't get along? Because there's an attachment issue. Um, there's an avoidance. There is, a, there is a fear. There is a dismissive attitude Jesus. in your attachment. There is, there is the one why you don't want to get married. You want to know why you don't want to let, you don't want to be vulnerable. You want to know why you don't want to worship. You want to know why there's no proper mm. communion because a hurt came in and you don't worship. You don't mm. fellowship. You're not open. You're not drawing out of the well. And so the ex that you used to be that was desperate for God and was desperate for love and was desperate mm. to show, desperate to bow, desperate to holler, desperate to run, mm. desperate to praise him in the gas station, in the Walmart, in the Waffle House. You're not that worshiper anymore because something mm. has to your attachment. Something has mm. caused you to avoid Jesus. worship. Something has caused you to come to a place to where it, you're, you're a fearful. You're fearful for telling the Lord, I need you because now mm. you, attach, you attach hurt with God. You attach what they said about you, what they did. Ah, but I came to break up. Oh, my yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I came to Hallelujah. break up tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Those of you who have been in that place of drawing back, ah, but the devil is a liar. I want you to take time out. Then maybe you did. So maybe you did have the affair. Maybe, 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 maybe your business went on. Maybe everybody publicly saw your daughter uh, get. Maybe people saw your daughter got pregnant in your past. Maybe your marriage fell apart. Maybe you were out here in a place to where you were ex and you were used to do something. You used to sing, you used to dance. Ah, but now you don't got all sedated and you'll come up. You've come out of a place of being an ex at the water uh, 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 telling God all about your issues and your problems and you come to this place to where now you want to cover up and you want to avoid Elder Thomas and Lady Ken, I want you to pray for those people right now under the sound of our voice. I want you to yes. deliverance and wholeness and healing. Hallelujah. I want you to pray for them. Hallelujah. Thank Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we come Thank to you, you now. We honor you, Father, yes, for being the chief the living God. Yes, we thank you, Father, for beating us in place. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Father, in this moment, God, that we have spoken and we have conversed, God, about worshiping you, oh God. Thank you, Father, for igniting up your inner soul, God. Fire. To, to let our worship be great. Let our worship be great. Thank you, oh God, for delivering us, oh God, from the hand of the enemy. Thank you, Father, for delivering us from ourselves, oh God, from the things that live within us, oh God, try to distract us and pull us from away from the things of you, God. Thank you, Father, for raising us up, oh God, to be greater witnesses of your power and your glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for for meeting us at our point of need. Thank you, mm. Father, for moving through the homes, oh God. Mm. Thank you, oh God, for, for touching the minds of the husband, oh God. Mm. Thank you, God, for touching the mind of the wife, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for touching the mind of the children, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for bringing everybody into one accord, oh God, in your Holy Spirit, oh God. We thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit, God, just dwelling in our lives even the more. Thank you now for your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you for your Holy Ghost. Thank you for your Holy Ghost, God. Breathe on us right now, God. Hallelujah. Breathe on us, oh God. Breathe on us, oh God, that we will continue to walk in your word, oh God, that we will continue to declare your word, oh God. Thank you, O oh Father, for making us strong and bold soldiers in Hallelujah. you, O oh God. Lord. Thank you, O oh God, for healing lives, O oh God. Yes, Thank you for healing our bodies, O oh God. Causing our bodies to line up with your word, O oh God. Every yes. line and every precept of your word, O oh God, that has been spoken to us, O oh yes, God. God. We receive hey. it right now, God. Yes, every promise, O oh hey. God. Thank you, oh God, for it coming to pass, God. 
the Father for our limbs mm -hmm. being obedient to your word. Thank you, yes, O oh God, for us being strong in you, O oh God. Yes, Thank Lord. you, O oh God, for building muscles, O oh God, yes, and Lord. joining the sinews, O oh God, and the tissues together. Yes, Thank Lord. you, O oh God, for Thank miracles, O oh God, yes, that shall come, O oh God, from Jesus. this encounter with you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We miracles. thank you, O God, yes. for miracles, signs, and wonders, yes, O God. Lord. Thank you, Father, for being yes, a way God. maker, O God. Thank yes, you, O oh God, for being a deliverer, O oh God. Yes. Thank you, O oh God, for being a healer, O oh God. Yes, thank you, O oh God, for your voice being heard, God. Hallelujah. The expression of our praise, God. Yes, God. Thank you, O oh God. It's your breath in yes, our lungs, O oh God. Yes, and we pour our praise to you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, it's your breath in our lungs, O oh God. Hallelujah. And we pour out our praise unto you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. You are holy, God. Yes, you are righteous, God. Righteous. There is none like you nowhere, God. <laughs> oh, Honor you, God. Thank you, God, Thank for every God. vessel, oh God. Oh. Every life and every home oh. that is Thank represented on this side, God. Yes, yes, God. Thank you, oh God, for meeting every need and answering every prayer, oh God. Yes, every spoken and unspoken request, God. Yes, Thank you, God, you're working in that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, you're working in that too, working God. It, for where they think, mm. oh God, that there is no hope, oh God. Mm. And Thank you. There is no answer, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for letting them know, God, as they continue to worship you, oh God, that you are a God that answers all prayers, yes, oh God, God. that you, you are the God of all Amen. possibilities, God. Yes. And thank you, Father, for being thank mighty. You. Thank you, oh God, for mighty are the works of your hand, God. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for you demonstrating your power. Thank you, Father, for your hand, mighty at work, God. God, we thank you, oh God. We thank you, Father, for ministries that are being birthed. Thank you, oh God, for pastors and leaders that are being strengthened right now, God, through this word, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for corporate worship being birthed, oh God, even to a greater level, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for strengthening the leadership, oh God, of yes, ministries, God. oh God, yes, God. pastors, oh God, yes, evangelists, God. ministers, oh God, prophets, oh God, prophets, God. Thank you, oh God, for worship leaders, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for everyone in respectful place, God, for first ladies, God, for pastors, for husbands, God. Thank you, oh God, for every spouse, oh God. Thank you, oh God for igniting a fire. Thank you, God, for the revival beginning within us, oh God. Oh God, that we will declare your word. Hallelujah, that we will declare your word. Hallelujah. the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for stirring us up. Stir it up, Lord. Thank you, Father, for stirring us up, oh God. Yes, oh God, thank you for stirring us up, oh God, that it shall continue in us, oh God. Yes, oh God, that as we see your people, oh God, and as we worship and fellowship with one another, oh God, Hallelujah. that we will worship, oh God, with them, God, in thank spirit you, God. and in truth, God, you, God, even in our engagement with one another, God, yes, that we will show love, oh God, you, and we will show adoration unto you, oh yes, Father. Lord. Yes. Oh God, and if we show adoration unto you, oh God, you will honor our praise. Yes. You will honor our worship, yes. God. You, you will hear our prayer and hear our call. We love you, Lord, and we glorify you. Thank you, Father, for this moment. Thank, Thank you, God. Thank you for this God, we bless you now. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you now, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We we come against every Thank spirit, you, God, Hallelujah. that I can't do. God, Thank we you, come Lord. against every spirit of I'm not good enough. Hallelujah. God, we come against every distraction, oh God, oh God that will cause your That's will not to be done in glory, our life, oh God. Glory, glory. We thank you that we take this journey of worship. Hey, we thank God. you, God, that we put ourselves in a position, oh God, oh, for God. worship, God. Oh God, every heart, heart, oh God, every heart that is hard, every heart, oh God, that is contrary, every mind that is contrary, oh God, we speak right now against it in the name of Jesus, oh God, and we speak the freedom of the Spirit, oh God, to flow in our lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, and we seal it, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen, and amen, glory to your name, God. In Hallelujah. the name of Jesus. Yes. Glory to your name, God. Yes. Glory Hallelujah. to your name, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Thank Lord. you Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
If you are X, you have to sow. You have to sow. Why are you sowing? You're sowing because there is power in your worship. It is the worship yeah. that you give in your kitchen. It is the worship that you have in your car. It is all of those things that are transforming yeah. the life of your children. Yeah. I thank God that I was not a withholder, that I was a demonstrator, that I kept worship going. I thank God that I worship God enough that my daughter became curious enough Hallelujah, to lift up her hands. It was a demonstration yeah. of me lifting up my hand. It was a yeah. demonstration. It was a demonstration of me falling prostrate. It was a demonstration of her hearing my cries and my wails early in the morning. It was a demonstration. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. We prophesied in our house and we saw things come to pass that it was, it was, it was, it was in, it was in our worship, my worship as a mother. That I can worship with my daughter. You want to be able to worship yes. with your family. You want to be able to worship with, with 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 your loved ones, with your friends. You want to Hallelujah. be able to worship. You want the people around you to know that the God you serve is real. He's waiting on you to open up your mouth. Hallelujah! And I thank mm -hmm. God for the night of worship because it reminds mm -hmm. me that who is Lord. It reminds me. It reminds when I feel lost. When I feel like there's no way. I am. Reminded tonight through this time uh, uh, of that 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 when I open up my mouth and when I give a display, not only through my obedience, not only through my giving, my sharing, my communion, not only through the things that was taught in the message tonight, but I thank God that He finds me. He finds, yes. me. he finds me. He finds he's looking yes. for me. Why? He doesn't look for me. Yes. Unless he wants me to draw something out of him. Mm. Ah, mm. Thank you, Lord. Mm. So for all mm. the people you hang around and you don't get nothing from them, you feel drained when you leave their behind. Oh. So said behind. Yes. Yes. When you leave their presence, you feel empty and you feel a uh, 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 a uh, dream. This is not that kind dream. of me. It's not that kind of relationship that when you draw out of God, you get replenished, you get renewed. And so we want to take time out to Hallelujah. honor the Lord and our worship and how we give tonight. So uh, jump off and come right back. Uh, go to the cash app. It's dollar sign Natasha N. Davis. One of the things I said to you and say to you all the time is that you have to honor the Lord's people. You can't use them. You can't get refreshed. You can't get renewed without doing something natural for them. You can't do that without without praying for their strength. You can't do that. You cannot, you cannot uh, say that you love God and his prophets and his people of God and, 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 and you don't refresh them and restore them. That is not God. You cannot do that. When you say you honor God and you honor your relationship with God, then you have to do that. Bible says that if you bless a prophet in the name of the prophet, then you will receive a prophet's reward. Prophet's reward. Yeah. Your concession. It's in your seed and what you take away from what you receive. When you take it away, he is the God mm -hmm. of goodness. He yes. is. He's allowed this goodness to come towards you yes. in your direction. So even if you watch this on a replay on YouTube, uh, you find us from Instagram, whatever it is, this means and includes you too. Hallelujah. So um, I, I always say to you that anybody that I invite to be in this in this space and in this platform, we bless and honor them. You know why? You know, you. I don't want God to see me as a user or somebody that dishonors his gift. You know why? You know, I want you, I, I want God to see me as somebody that is a demonstrator and a person of value and a person of value. So everything that is around me gets honored. My house get cleaned up because I honor somewhere to live. My car gets taken mm. care of because I honor something to drive. My, my child gets taken care of because I honor the Lord 
Thank you for giving me this child. Younger wow. daughter. Wow. Wow. The man, woman of God. Uh, they told me when I was coming up in God that you receive the anointing you respect. My God. Mm. Not the preacher tonight, but that's what good preaching make you do and make you preach. That, that, word right <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. It does not, say it, it's say, not a, say it, it's it. scripture. It's not a scripture. But the women of old say the, the anointing that you honor comes on you. Praise the Lord. So mm. I think the prophets and apostles that I've sown into their ministries and because I've sown into their ministries and I hungered and thirsted for uh, what God had deposited in their life for me, a manifestation has been continued. So go to my website, mm. KashaDavis.org and so. Or you can sew on my cash app, which is the dollar sign Natasha N. Davis. The dollar sign Natasha yes. N. Davis. Uh, 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 where can the people find y'all? I am on Facebook as Candace Thomas. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, Instagram, Candace R. Thomas. Um, Candace R. Thomas. Oh, YouTube. <laughs> I'm on YouTube as well. Amen. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. I'm on YouTube. Praise the Lord. Amen. Where Amen. In the restaurant. I'm, I, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. The oh, the rest. The restaurant. The rest you said your your the, music business, your pr production company. Where can we find all of that? Okay, so uh, the restaurant's name is Galore Eatery. Galore the Everything Eatery. You can find the uh, Galore Every the Everything Eatery on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Also, um, our studio name is J Link Studio Media Music Group. All right, um, you can find us uh, information on there uh, from on Facebook as well as Instagram, all right? As well as Instagram, all right? Um, you can find us there. Also, as my wife said, on YouTube, all right? You can search J-Link Studio on YouTube, all right? If you have any audio production needs, uh, any graphic design needs, uh, hit us up. You can find us there, and we will uh, be glad to respond to you, all right? Thank you so much. You can also have the beautiful jewelry, $5 bling. All right. yes. Some more than five dollars, some a dollar, just as jewels. But you can find it on Lady Cam Blink Accessories um, on Facebook and uh, website is paparazziaccessories.com forward slash Lady Cam Blink. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'll go and patronize their businesses, people of integrity. So be a blessing to, to their businesses and share their information awesome, yeah. on your pages. I want to let you know about a couple of things that we do have coming up in Natasha Davis Ministries. Um, I want to let you know that on um, that on um, that on August the 5th, on August the 5th, uh, I'm going to be right here with um, I'm going to be right here with uh, uh, my good friends, Pastor uh, Barry and Lady Linda Townsend. That's August. That's, Amen. that's next Thursday, August the 5th. And um, mm -hmm. this month of uh, August is going to be about enriching relationships. If the Thomases can fit us in their schedule, uh, send us a video or something that will bless their ministry, bless your marriages or bless these marriages. We would love to have them come back as well. But the Thomas, the uh, Townsends will be with us on this coming Thursday. Um, the month of August, we are going to uh, pour into your relationships. Yours truly will be uh, ministering to so, to the same. Amen. Uh, so please uh, come ready to, awesome. to be uh, blessed. Come ready to be blessed. And so August is uh, Summer Love Month, and we want your relationship to be uh, enriched. So uh, come on out and um, join us on this live stream this time next Thursday. Um, and that we'll continue to pray the, pray the Lord's goodness and mercy upon you. I want to um, inform you that T and Tips, due to uh, um, you know, things outside of our control, we have to reschedule this. So if you had it on your calendar for the 31st, um, it's been rescheduled to October 23rd. So um, continue to keep Andrea Plowden and her family. Mm -hmm. 
um, in your prayers. Uh, so put that save the date on your calendar. Tea and tips uh, have been uh, rescheduled for a different day. The next date that we will have um, tea and tips will be October the 23rd. And so I want you to mark that on your calendar. Thank you for everybody that hung in there with us until the very end. The Lord bless you, bless your homes. And as you watch this video, the replay and share it with your family, may he increase you more and more. May deliverance find you and may you walk in the fullness that God has purpose for your life. We love you. And thank you so very much for joining us on tonight. Be blessed. Hallelujah.